going on YouTube I'm back I'm back family and friends co-workers and people who just like my videos so I'm currently sitting here in Brooksville Pennsylvania um I had a load to deliver Friday and I, man these folks told me between 7 and 2 between 7 and 2 got there at 2 30 I woke up that morning and I left like I waited my 10 hours I started my uh, I started doing my pre-trip and I left like 30 minutes after I started my pre-trip so I did my pre-trip 15 minutes and then whatever else it was I did you know it was I took 30 minutes um, I didn't stop for lunch I uh, stopped and used the bathroom, I think, twice out of the seven hours. And there was a wreck on the highway. They shut it down. They shut the whole highway down. R routed us off an exit, and just that was it. So, thank God there was a TA right there. I went to the TA parking lot. I was sitting there trying to figure out another route uh, on my phone, and I had my CB on. And then I heard them old truckers in that area talking about take uh, I-41 or something like that, 141, take it all the way to Snow Run, Snow Shoot or something like that. And I pulled out my maps and I found 41 and found out how it went to Snow Shoot. And so I cranked the truck up and hauled butt, went to 41. And it was some back roads. I mean, going up mountains, going down mountains. It was some... I had another trucker behind me. And I guess I was the only one. Me and him was the only one that was going that route. Because as soon as we got back on the highway, there was not a car as far as the eye could see. So, but I sat there for like 5 or 10 minutes. That was it. So, I was making pretty good time, you know. Um got there at 2 30 and there was only two guys left one was getting on the motorcycle and one was locking up the doors and i said well you know it is what it is i mean i've been through this so many times you really can't be mad anymore you know when you know what to expect it's like you don't you're not surprised but, you know, I've been doing better on the time that I've been taking off, like, after work and stuff. You know, I know I was taking, like, 13 hours at one point because I was so tired. You know, I think it was that diabetes. Because they said that my A1C was 11.7. You know, they said I had diabetes way before that I even knew I had diabetes. Um... So, I've been dealing with this for a while and didn't even know it. I mean, I, I sleep I sleep eight, nine hours and felt like i probably been asleep four hours. And it was because I wasn't doing my body right, you know? So, I got all that squared away and now I feel a lot better, though, when I go to sleep and I wake up. Um, I got this new company, that Hornady company I'm going to putting in my applications in put my application in today um, trying to get it done today and do the lease purchase program I know y'all saying don't do it don't do it but I went over the paperwork and it seems pretty legit the only thing that would keep me from being successful in it is if I didn't get no loads I mean the, the notes are 600 a week so, I mean, if I can make three or $4,000 a week, then I'll be set. You know, I got to rent their trailer. But I'm going to try to buy a trailer from them. I don't want to rent no trailer. I want a flatbed trailer. I want my own flatbed trailer. You know what I mean? Um, just to have it. You don't never know when you'll need a flatbed trailer. I mean, I might want to haul something on them for my behalf, you know, after I leave there. But I eventually want to go there and get my credit right, get my, my bills paid off, you know, um, 
shed and everything. I got credit cards. Got a uh, a uh, vacuum cleaner. It's like four thousand dollars. You know, I got it when I was making good money, and been stuck with it ever since. Um, but you know, I got to get these bills paid off, man. And so it, it's been it, it's been a financial something else for me. Um, like I said, I've been eating sandwiches. You see, you see that there ain't no groceries hardly there no more. I mean, you got your cereals, you got to see the cans. I mean, there's no groceries. Ain't really nothing I can eat. You know, I've been scrounging and, I mean, just figuring out. I mean, eating like a squirrel or something. Just been chipping away at stuff. I've had a bad bag of beef jerky that I've been working on for about a week and a half now, trying to just save it. Um, I ain't made a check last week, you know, but I should have a decent check coming in next week. I hope to God I do because I had two big loads. This third load I thought was going to be on there, but, you know, they tell you to get here at the latest is two o'clock. And like I say, I didn't, the night before, I got to the rest area at eight o'clock at night eight o'clock at night finally did my 10 hours started it and then had to get out the truck and go tarp the load i didn't get back in the truck at 9 30 at night you know so but i thank god though there's been some people that's have uh, has helped me uh marvin and sharon had, you know, they helped me financially sent me some money on cash out and I ain't used to all that um, I do have my cash out link in my description and I do appreciate it, that has been a real blessing uh, I found out about Marvin today and I'm telling you the Lord works because I was sitting over there, walked across the street trying to buy a bag of popcorn um one of them little, you know, little, you pop it yourself, the cheap ones. I try to be as cheap as possible because I really ain't got nothing to snack on. And the popcorn, I like to eat at night. And it's kind of healthy. And, you know, I don't want my blood sugar going too low because that medicine's been dropping it real bad. I mean, real bad. Like, it got scary the other day while I was driving. I mean, I had to pull over and eat something. And I was just thinking about, you know... I gave him that my my gave my roll of tape my I gave my roll of tape away to that guy the other day. Lord put it on my heart, man, to help that guy. Lord put it on my heart to help that guy. I gave him that tape, and I was over there at the TA a while ago, and I said, "Well, it's been on my mind every day that I need to replace that tape." And I'm like, I can't afford that, man. Not right now. I didn't make no check. So what happens if my tarp rips? What am I going to do? No, I'm just out. Because I gave my stuff away. So I said, let me buy a roll of tape. So I bought a roll of tape. And it was $18. The last roll I gave away was $12. That's $30 in tape. I said, Lord, I said, I ain't made a check, man. So I got back to the truck, and my wife said, well, you know, somebody named Marvin sent you some money, don't you? I said, what? She said, yeah. I said, praise the Lord. I said, because I spent $18 buying tape in case my tarp rips. You know, that tarp rips and tears up. I'm not going to be able to take probably 90% of the loads we have I mean it's ridiculous you know so I had to buy that tape by the grace of God uh, there's been people out there to help me and I'm just thankful for 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 y'all you know don't think I ain't um I don't know what I would do I'm starting to read my Bible 
uh, reading a chapter a day. I started in Genesis. Um, I got a leadership Bible. Um, I bought it at Ollie's way back back in the day, I guess you could say. Maxwell, John Maxwell. It, it's a nice it's a nice Bible now. I bought it uh, not for actually my truck, but I, now I'm using it for my truck. Um, it's got the gold leaves on it. It's pretty nice. I like it. I mean. It tells you about how to be leaders and stuff like that. I take good care of it. You know, I like it. I read a chapter every night. Um, but I got this load I got to get rid of. And I still had 30-something hours left that I could have drove. But I had to hurry up, came back here to this pilot. I'm at this pilot right here. And uh, there's plenty of spaces left when I got here. There's a TA across the street, and it's got a lot of spaces, too. I'm thinking about going over there uh, and spend the night tonight just to kind of get new scenery, you know? Um, at night, I like to... I got my shades up right now. I got my shades up, and these things... Right here. As soon as you put them up, the temperature's dropping. I mean, it dropped like 20 degrees one time when I put them up. And seriously, they work. They're silver on the outside, black on the inside. But at night, I like to take them down and watch the people try to back in them spots and, you know, kind of get pointers, I guess you could say, on backing up. I'm still learning about this flatbed, backing it up. I can just getting that 90 doing that now i can do i did it with a dry van i don't know what i'm having trouble for with this flatbed looks like it's but when i turn it when i turn when i'm turning around looks like it's about to yank the front tires off the out the axles you know but i like to watch the people trying to back up and stuff you know i don't know man i always told my wife i wanted a house now listen to me hear me out don't make fun of me just listen to me hear me out um, I wanted a house. Say so you got an interstate going or a highway. I want a house on a hill right beside the highway, where I can just watch the cars go down the highway and think about where are these people going, what they going through, where are they, where are they where are they headed to grandma's house or where are they headed to work. Just watch the cars go by. Pium, 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 pium. I don't know. I just always like to have a house where I can sit out on the front porch, drink me a little cup of coffee in the morning, and just watch the cars go by. I don't know, man. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing good, though, man. I'm hanging in there. I'm going to Hornady. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Uh, but the Lord's putting it in my heart to go ahead and let go and let go of that fear and take control of my life and make a difference I've got to I've got to I gotta quit being so scared of everything of, of making making moves and making changes in my life I gotta quit being scared of doing that um so that's what I'm going to do I'm going I'm going to go you know I'm ready um, and I think that's about it, guys. You know, I did make a longer video. It was like 30-something minutes long. But, uh, I know, you know, it's Saturday, you know, trying, trying to, ain't trying to put y'all through it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, my head ain't been feeling too good. I feel like my head's kind of being squished in. I think it's this atmosphere where I'm at. I think I'm up in high, ele high elevation. And it kind of gets my head to feeling like... Like I got my hand right here and I'm just squeezing. Got my, no my nose kind of stopped up. Um, I done took two naps today. Um, I'm trying to find something to munch on. Uh, I got diabetes so it ain't working out too well. 
Uh, I don't know. I've lost weight now. I've lost weight. So, y'all be praying for me, man, about this truck situation. I think I'm going to go with the uh, Kenworth T680. Am I saying that right? I want the AU, APU on it, though. I got to get it. They said it don't come with it. But I got to figure out how to get one on there. I heard there was like eight to $12,000. Woo! So, you know, am I making the right move to Kenworth T680 or the new Peterbilt's? I think they're 2022s. Uh, they got the Freightliner Cascadias. I ain't never seen inside no Kenworth. I have on YouTube, but I ain't never seen inside no Peterbilt. No, no new one. You know, and I ain't really looking for the old. I guess I don't know if it's the old style with the with the single lights out there, lights by themselves. I like the thing with the dome on it. I love the trucks with the domes on them. I mean, this right here, I'm 6'1. Ain't no way I can touch that. Ain't no way I can touch. Ain't no way I can touch that. I'm 6'1. That's what I like. If I just want to be sporadic and sleep up top, I could. You know, I could. Um, but I keep all my clothes up here. I keep my food. I got another little fridge. It's got my sodas in there. So in the bottom one, I keep my frozen stuff and I don't open it as much as I do at the top. So, you know, um, but I don't know. Y'all let me know. Which one? Peterbilt? Kenworth? Freightliner? I hope to God they take me. I hope to God they take me. I'm ready. $5,000 sign on bonus. They said they'll give me $1,000 when I first get there. And, and and them gold dollar coins. No, I'm playing. <laughs> um, man, I'm ready. I'm ready for this move. So y'all be praying for me, man. I hope this works out for me. Um, I, I appreciate y'all helping me out financially. I got my cash app in my bio and uh, channel description, I guess you could say. Man, the Lord is really blessing me, you know, to have people like y'all watching my videos and all these uh, positive, positive comments y'all leave me. I read, I watch some people's channels, and uh, there's people in there that just say the rudest things to them, you know, just dog them out, say they dissect everything they say, and just dog them out because of. They might have not have said the right thing on this, or might have not have said the. Y'all don't do that, and I appreciate that, man. That really means a lot to me. Um, if there's anything I can ever do to help repay y'all, y'all just let me know. I mean, uh, just a just a positive comment means the world to me. You know, I'm here to try to help y'all. And like I said, if there's anything I could ever do, just let me know. Um, but I'm going to let y'all go. It's Saturday. Y'all go have fun with the family. And uh, I'm going to keep this truck warm. Y'all take care.